Alright everybody, welcome back. This is the final part of our basic tutorial for this piece. Again, we're going to do some more in a little bit that involves some uh, kind of extra little processes you can take to add more depth and, and interest to your piece. But for now, we're just going to feel like we're, fit, we're pleased with the coloring job we've done on this uh, generic little hero here. And we're going to close up the file. Uh, so there are going to be some specific steps that we've got to take for that and um, the what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to uh, merge our black line art with our, the rest of our piece which right now it's not remember we have that on a separate channel the black copy channel and the way we're going to do that is we're going to select that black copy channel and we're going to select all the black in there uh, we're not going to use the one we're not going to use marquees anything like that because the great thing about using channels is that when you select you can go to this little option called load selection and you stay on your black channel and click OK and there you have it presto all of your black line art is selected for you which is a great perk to using CMYK um, now that we have all that selected we're gonna fill it up but before we put black down we're gonna go back to our CMYK mode here we're going to select a special color. We're going to go, these right here is your cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Uh, these are your actual um, color separations here. And we're going to, instead of just kind of eyeballing it over here on the, on the uh, color picker, we're going to put in a specific number here. For cyan, we're going to do 60%. For magenta, we're going to do 40%. For yellow, we're also going to do 40%. And we're going to leave K at 0. And that's going to give us kind of a... kind of a... grayish kind of color. Um, now we're going to go up to Fill. Go into Edit. You have your fill command here. Again, we're not going to use the bucket or anything like that because we want some of the options that fill has. And instead of using black, we're going to go to our foreground color because foreground color picks the color that you just created in your palette. And we're going to leave it at normal with 100% opacity. And we're going to click OK. Now what just happened there was that you can't really see it yet, but we put a layer of gray underneath all of our black. This is going to make sense in just a minute. Now we're going to go back to our black, and we're going to again on black copy, load selection, and this time we're going to go back up to CMYK, and we're going to again choose fill, except this time we're going to fill with black. We're going to use mode multiply. Click OK. What this does is this adds true black all the way through every channel in the picture. Uh, that's important because printers print by channel and it's you're not going to get a pure black if you simply fill it with one layer of black over nothing else. It's also why it's important that we color the way we did the color underneath the line art because you're going to get a more um, a more rich piece. Uh, trust me I have seen uh, printed pieces before that I colored it properly uh, and it looks great on a, a computer screen and then as soon as you print it with a professional printer um, you notice that some things are left to be desired. You really want to flush black when you have a printed piece. So now that we've done all this we're going to deselect and you can see the work there and now we're just going to drag our black copy right into our trash can and now you have a completed piece which is all I might mention uh, on one layer. We didn't have to create 30 different layers to get all these great textures and uh, effects here so that's again part of the benefits of using CMYK. You can color very comfortably and not worry about any consequences so there you have it from here on out you just save your piece uh, if you're wanting to submit it for the web you would just simply switch the mode up here to RGB and then you're done so um, again 
that is pretty much the general process here. Um, if you're kind of following along on the tutorial, um, do a save as and uh, keep your, your black liner on top there. We're going to use that um, for some of the other tutorials we're going to post. But for this one, it's pretty much a done deal. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a little something. And again, if there's any specifics I left out and you have a question, just send me a, uh, just leave a comment here on the video or head over to deviantart.com and, uh, and send me a message at overgroundcomics.deviantart.com and I'd love to hear from you, get some feedback and even some questions and then we'll address them as quickly as we can. So thanks again for checking out the video and we uh, will be back with more soon.